So here we are on not a bluebird day. Snow is falling. The quiet of winter surrounds us, except for our snow machines. Today, I'm super excited because we are doing one of Idaho's quintessential winter adventures. Adventures that is very accessible and very family oriented. Everyone can do this trip, whether you're new to snowmobiles, if you know the area or not, Bergdorf Hot Springs, the trip into Bergdorf Hot Springs, it's an entire experience. So the cool thing about this trip is you can't get there by car. You cannot get there by car. You can get there by skiing or snowshoeing if you're up for a 21 mile trek. An easy way to get there is pop into Cheap Thrills, downtown McCall. No matter what you're wearing or if you have winter clothes or not, they will get you set up downtown and then they send you out to the trailhead and these nice people show you how to run these awesome sleds which are easy to drive and you're off on a 21 mile trip about 45 minutes out to Bergdorf Hot Springs. Well, you can have zero experience and you can still get on the snowmobile yeah. so don't be intimidated by that. They're fun. A big wide road. It's not like you're going to be on this little trail or in powder or anything like that. It's groomed. So we stopped into Cheat Thrills. We got situated there. We then headed over to SRB Salmon River Brewery. We picked up a growler for the trip. Had to get some nice local brew and then we headed out to the parking lot, the Francis Waller parking lot. And there, Cheap Thrills has the sleds all ready to go for you. We even got a gear, little pulling trailer here for our stuff. The gear sled. It is so easy yeah. and so accessible yeah. for a place that shouldn't be that accessible. Yeah. And that's what makes this trip so freaking cool. Right. So the first time I ever did this trip, I'd never been on a snowmobile. I'd never been in snow. I didn't even live in Idaho yet. And we came out here and we did this experience and it was one of the things that made me fall in love in Idaho. So I'm super excited to relive some childhood memories. So let's get let's on these sleds do it. and let's go find Bergdorf. Yeah. We have 13 cabins that we rent out and they're all different. So each cabin's totally unique. They're really rustic. The um, charm is in the kind of quaint rustic appeal. Uh, none of the cabins have electricity. None of them have running water, but they're all cozy and quaint in their own way. And what it does is it kind of gives a clean slate for when you come in, you can flesh it out how you like it. You bring your bedding how you like it. You know, you can bring a camp stove. You can really just kind of, kind of create your experience with that you know so we just finished our ride and I'm just blown away yeah of what Bergdorf has lent us for the night this is the castle castle the starting of the fire when you roll in that is standard yeah and it's so, so nice yeah. you're definitely you just had this nice long ride and to walk into a beautiful rustic cabin with a giant wood stove that's already lit for you and it's nice and toasty as the snow is dumping outside it's magical. It's magical. You've got your sleeping bag. There's like five beds upstairs. Right. There's like two couches, you know. It's definitely like you have your creature comforts. It's warm. There is no running water. Yes, the potty is outside. Yes, there is a hot springs right there that you can go um, warm up in. It's rustic with a flare. Another reason you might want to get a cabin is for your beer situation here. Alcohol, heavy machinery, and hot springs just don't mix well together. Sam River Brewery, this is the coolest damn growler I've yeah, ever made eyes don't on. Don't shake it up too I'm much. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm super psyched about it. Yeah. This is not glass. You know, normally a growler keeps I've it seen cold. Yeah, this can bounce in your yep. sled. Super nice. So Chad has brought this out. We're gonna enjoy some libations and then we're gonna go get our soak on and then we're gonna stay the night and be able to ride back safely tomorrow with uh, a clear head yes. and full of daylight. Yes. And I think that if you really want to enjoy this place and take full advantage and get a little stay loose, the night. stay the night in the experience. cabin. It's get such a away. cool experience. And, yeah, I'm going to take a potty break. You're going to take a potty break? I'll show you the potty. Not my potty, but I'll show you the potty. OK, so we're going to do some sort of breaking. We're going to come back and we're going to show you the, the actual soak. So stay with us, Bergdorf Hot Springs. So here we are in our lovely abode. 
and um, I need to take a little potty break. And the nice thing is you get to come out in this winter wonderland and the trail is packed out and we get to go up to this nice little outdoor potty situation, toilet. You know, you're way far away from the cabin, so plenty of privacy. And you get to experience the outdoors. So I think that it's great. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be fine. This episode is sponsored by Explore all that McCall, Idaho has to offer and let the McCall Area Chamber be your guide. Find activities in every season, events and happenings, exclusive travel tips, lodging deals, and more at visitmccall.org. Hotel McCall overlooks Payette Lake and combines a cozy bed and breakfast feel, historic charm, and five-star hospitality. No matter where you stay, dine at Rupert's inside the hotel and explore the courtyard with shops, a brewery, a wine bar, and more. Book your stay now at hotelmacall.com. With five designated Nordic areas and endless off-trail meadows and forests to explore, McCall, Idaho is becoming a premier cross-country destination. Learn more at mccallnordic.com. Start planning your next visit to the mountains of McCall today. Links to our sponsors can be found in the description below. Now back to the shenanigans. I've always heard, what's your beliefs on the minerals and things like that? Is it, is it medicinal? I believe so. I definitely believe so. Our water has sulfur, calcium, magnesium, lithium. The hot water um, brings up your um, your heart rate a little bit, so it gets your circulation going. It also relaxes you at the same time. I think there's um, medicine to just relaxing, you know, and being outside. Um, vitamin in, vitamin nature, right? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So besides the beauty and the nature aspect of Bergdorf, there's a couple of other things that I like to look for in the pool itself. One is the cleanliness and the smell. So Bruce is already out here cleaning the pool and it shows this is a very clean, very pristine pool. The ground that you walk on is very nice. It's this soft, pebbly sand mixture. It's almost like an exfoliant for your feet. A little bit of sulfur smell in these hot pools here, kind of entrapped in this uh, shack, but out there, no smell. There's a wide ranging amount of temperatures at Bergdorf. So we have very hot right over here. We have really hot here. We have your standard 100 degrees in the main pool. And then you have a little bit of a cooler temperature down in the hot tub, a little bit lower here. So a lot of variety, really comfy, really clean here at Bergdorf. And the amenities here just rock. Dressing room is super nice, comfortable. They always have a fire going in there, so it's warm. There's something about that wood-burning stove that just warms your soul in the winter. Well, sadly, that does wrap up our stay here at Bergdorf Hot Springs. And I will say that, you know, what adds to this space is not just the environment and the place. Jim and Caroline, the people who manage it, are just wonderful individuals. Yeah, the hospitality here is, it's that Old West hospitality. And, you know, you don't see it in a picture, but when you come here, you really experience it. Um, you really do feel like you're removed from normal society and you've taken a step back in time. And I think that's the magic and ambiance of this place too, is like, no running water, no lights, no electricity. Um, you think, oh, I wonder what that's like. It's cool. <laughs> it's like yeah. you're living in the past. Yeah, it's amazing. You feel like you belong here. I'm really in touch with my inner outdoor self here. Sounds like you need to spend some time with yourself, John. And, uh, yeah. To plan your magical McCall stay, visit our sponsors. They truly will help you have the best experience in McCall. Links to all their sites are in the descriptions below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more adventure ideas in Idaho and beyond. Follow us on social media. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh. I hope I was rolling on that.